Salaam and Salaam and welcome to lecture 34. So title of this lecture is Quran Blast of the Belief of Month of Ramadan Fasting. So Quran does not accept any, you know, this belief of Ramadan or fasting. So Quran totally negated. It's all the wrong translation they have done. Because of the wrong translation, they fabricated all these, you know, stories or belief or faith. So Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, one who does not involve into worship or one who does not become perplexed or confounded, this is the meaning of Allah. And Allah I have given other meanings too. Allah means lawgivers. Allah means this our Quranic laws. Or any government which is making a government based on the nature law, that is also Allah's laws. Feel pleasure or feel like spidex of flower by developing intensive and as well as gradual and lasting sustaining program from the Quran. Just like what is happening in the mother or the earth form for coming generation. So another translation of this, the humanity should feel happiness or smile that they have got the uh, constitution of the Quran which will provide the humanity gradual nourishment and as well as emergent nourishment or extensive nourishment. So now we will come, what is the Ramadan cream and what Ramadan Mubarak? So all over the world they are saying when the Ramadan came, come they say Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan cream. 99% people they don't know what is the meaning of this. These words are not available in the Quran. This is all, you know, fabricated, initiated. So before I proceed, Ramadan, it does not the name of the month and cream something else. I will discuss that. And Ramadan Mubarak, again, there is a no month of Ramadan and Baraka, nobody knows. So cream means honorable work, extremely honorable, this is a cream, karam. And barka means, I don't know how they are saying Ramadan or barak, barak means, I'll give you the example, what is a barka? We are saying Mubarak, Eid Mubarak, Ramadan Mubarak, whatever. You know, this evergreen tree in Canada, this is a Barak. Why? This tree in summer or in autumn, it does not, you know, have autumn. It always green. When the autumn appears in Canada, all other trees, their leaves are gone. But this evergreen tree, tree, it is remain as in the summer and as well as in the autumn. Weather temperature, minus 39, 49, 50, minus 50, it remain greens. And so good for the animals, the deer, the bear, who take the shelter under this tree. And the reason of why it is green, the reason is this, that in this tree, there is ethylene glycol. Ethylene glycol boiling point is seven, uh, 136 and freezing point is min minus 76. Just like what you are putting in your radiator. 
antifreeze. So the same percentage of glycol in that tree. So this is a baraka which has no effect summer or autumn, either bad weather or good weather, but it will give you result. Just like in Pakistan, there is one fruit, it comes in two seasons, gava, in winter as well as in the summer. So that is a baraka. So anything which you give permanent beneficial, regardless what are the weather, what are the situation, that is known as baraka. So this is the meaning of baraka. Either or what? Seventy-five percent. We are under the under the slavery of economic. How we are? Can, we can save a barak. Then they say Jima Mubarak. What the hell they are doing? So, Islamic theocracy believe that Ramadan is a holy month of fasting. It is their belief, not Quran. Worshipping, Quran against the worshipping, service, what service? They are minting money, they want money, this is the service they want to give. Communal gathering, party, Ramadan party, people party, Ramadan party, and spiritual development, what is spiritual development? Spiritualism is a symbol of defeat. It's an escapism in which Muslim Umma is living now. So in this holy month, money, minting, business by the mosque, management and non-profitable uh, non charity organization is on its full swing. Holy month. They sharpen their knives, they make a special speeches, hire the people to collect the money, because it's easy, easy minting money, easy earning money. So this holy month, in this holy month in Canada, all the mosque management, they are collecting millions. Where are the poor people? They pay the GST, PST, property tax, but they are, they are exempted. All the mosques and the church, they are exempted. So this holy month, what the Muslims are doing? Holy water, holy month, holy book, holy kaaba. What they are doing, you know? When they will open their eyes, the month can be holy, book can be holy, water can be holy. So in this month, it is a compulsory to pay charity in the following forms. Zakat, Sadkat, Fidya, Khairat, and Fitran. And also in all the, you know, butcher shop, where the halal made available, I have seen three, four boxes for the donation. All the mosques, they want loony toony even. They don't want to live. They are all parasite. And then, if you see, I brought one this sign, Zakat appeal, send $200 or $249 or 350 in our bank. And they put some picture of the poor people, some African children, some Afghanistan, some, you know, this uh, Palestine, and they don't care, they are making money. There is no accountability for them. No zakat in the Quran. From where they got this khairat, fitrana, fidya, sadka, zakat? Quran does not support that you have you pay 2.5 percent. Nothing. It is not in the Quran. Not even in the hadith. I could not find. 
I, I don't know from where they got it. I think that this, uh, all this caliph, Banamaya, Banamabasya, they made it with the collaboration of this uh, religious people. Even there's a God on your gold, upon your property, upon the one. In the mosque they are making announcement. But the Quran blast out, this, that is the reason I titled my today lecture blast out. However, the Quran blast of the belief of donation, charity, zakat, and all parasitic way of making money in the following verses. I don't talk anything in the air. I brought them. Evidence, not one. Uh, six, seven. There are a lot of others in the Quran. Noha verse 26, 109. وَمَا أَسْلَكُمْ أَلَيْهِ مِنْ أَجْرِ إِنَّ أَجْرِ إِلَى الْرَبُّ الْعَالَمِينَ I am not asking you any donation of my services. I am a non non-profitable organization. And Ujra mean taxi. It's a very good word. You know the moment you reach your de uh, destination, you have to pay the money. In Arabic, it is known as Ujra, taxi. So here, this was Noah saying to his nation, oh, I want to work for your benefit, for your welfare, for your prosperity, and I don't want any other from you. My other Rabbul Alameen, my chronic federation based on the knowledge, they will give me that. Ajar is that the society become prosperous. Society become safe. Safety. That is Ajar. And then he said, Inni lakum rasul alameen. I am protector of your human rights, of your economy rights, of your social right, of your justice right. This is the you know, messenger or the representative of the Quranic Federation. This is a new statement. Write down the verses number. Then Samud say the same thing. I am safeguard your rights, your freedom rights, your writing rights your human rights, woman rights, all the rights. I'm a mean, I'm trustworthy leader. I mean, mean that person who look after the trust of the people, not like this democratic leader or our mosque leader. No, they are not, I mean, they are making money. And the loot, same thing, 26 one, same thing. And then same thing he said, Inni lakum Rasul alameen. Then Shoaib 26180, same thing, that I'm your leader. I'm an honest leader, trustworthy leader. So now let me give me the odd translation of one verse. Ya komi last lakum alayhi ajran. O my nation, I don't want any donation, charity, or reward. Inni ajri ila lazi fatalni afala taqalun. Why have selected this verse? What translation? Why? Because the fatalni word. I want to explain you. They twisted. They corrupted the meaning of the meaning of this fatalni. Look, let me show you. You suffer. Oh, my people, I ask you no reward of this message. My reward is from none but Him. He created me. Do you think He created you? And this creation concept has been given by the Krishnati. Quran does not accept creation, Quran accept the Mayas, 
halaka determine mayas values in volume in mayas in quantity and quantity that is the halaka not you know this creation it's a all you know christianity you know believe you know just like adam and eve how they were created you know it so let me give oh my nation i do not ask my donation in the reward of my services ya kaum mein last lakh mein le jaye my reward is with the one who has originated or designated me first time for the mission or this rank so here this messenger of allah is saying that i have been selected i have been assigned i have been originated first time for this mission not creation look whom who created me who is to, he is talking something something else he is, he is addressing the nation and explaining them that i have been assigned first time for this job what does that mean first time anything is doing will you apply your innate allah's gifted wisdom he, he said to them that i have been assigned your mission that i want to take care about you make the reform over here afra taqilun will you use your innate wisdom which is a gift of the god so this is the meaning of this fatarni not that allah has created you me so quran brast of all this donation all this zakat everything look i have given you not single verse i have given you six seven and there are more in the quran and then quran says these people ya kaluna mawalakum bil batil without bringing any result they devour your everything or our mosque our religious institution sukh they are all billionaire millionaire and the people are poor so now let me come to the ramadan this shahr ramadan 2185 which is our subject today shahr ramadan allah ze andla fi al quran wa dal lin nas wa bayanat min al huda wa al furqan فَمَنْ شَهَدَ مِنْكُمْ أَشَهَدَ فَلَا يَفْسَحُ وَمَنْ كَانَ مَرِيضًا أَوْ عَلَى سَفَرٍ وَعِدَّةٍ مِنْ أَيَّامٍ أُخْرَى يُرِيدُ لَكُمْ بِكُمْ يُسْرًا وَلْيُرِيدْ لَكُمْ أُسْرًا وَلَتَكْمِلُوا عِدَّةَ وَلَتَكْبِرُوا عَلَى اللَّهِ مَا هَدَاكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ سو فَرْسْتْ أَوْفْ أَلْ آي وَانْتْ تُو غِيْفْ يُو دا meaning of the shahar two word shahar and ramadan the shahar mean signifies notorious new moon lunar month this also month to make manifesto public fame to make motionless bad evil and well known or famous period or shining period this is the meaning ashar signify more and most apparent conspicuous and manifesto mashhur there is an urdu also in farsi they are also using means well known or well known place or well spoken or reputable or notable or eminent or celebrity situation shahar or situation condition adat al shahur the situation which is the proposed one is preferable is worth taking note so this is the meaning of shahar shahar does not mean only only month no and the quran does not use shahar in any verse for the month and in the quran there are no name of any month ramadan quran does not use for the month i will explain you what is the quran where the quran use for what purpose it is used look ramadan it signifies an extreme heat of middle sun hot vehement hot 
stones, to have ashes and pains. Look, when you are feeling sarona as pain, that is also Ramadan. When there is intense heat outside, that is also Ramadan. When the sun is on its full swing, there is a too much heat, that is also Ramadan. Ramadan to earth, the earth has grown and the stone become vehement, heated by the sun. Our day become intensively hot. Ramadan Yomena. Ramadan Kaddaho. His foot, foot was burned by the ground or stone vehemently heated. Ramadan Dul A sheep or goat pasturing in intense heat had damaged their lungs and liver. You know, these sheep are going to when they are, you know, in the hot season sometime you know, during the past, so so much high heat, either their lungs or their, you know, liver damage. Arthamad signifies he was distressed, grieved by the reason of thing or an affair. When the, now we are Muslim or almost 75% population of the world, that is in their distress, Arthamad, grieved. The reason why? Because economic problem. Artamudur al Rajab, the man become corrupt or in disorder. So look, I have given you the meaning of Ramada or Ramadan. It is not a name of any month. It is a your burning rage, your grief, or your heat or when the society is a full of chaos and, uh, you know, disorder and everybody is feeling intense heat inside his, her body, that is in Ramada. Now let me give the translation of this. First of all, Ramadan is a month in which was sent on the Quran. Shah Ramadan, Allah is in the Quran. This is absolutely wrong. As a guide to mankind, also clear sign for guidance and judgment. So every one of you is a present at this home. During that month, should spend it in fasting. Nothing is over here. But if anyone is ill, mankana marizan, are on journey, are on journey, the prescribed period, safra, faiddatan minayam, ukhra, should be made by the days later. Allah intends every facility for you. He does not want to put a difficult. So this is the translation. So let me give the, the possible light translation. It is a notorious period. Not Shahar Ramadan. Shahar notorious period. When the Quranic Federation implemented this, there was a big problem. Now we have also a big problem of intense grief and distress. Ramadan. The humanity was facing intense problem. Now we have more than that in which the Quran message was delivered or conveyed there. Andhra does not mean that Jibreel was bringing. They made all these stories. Tanzilat, big sale. Do you think Jibreel came for the Quran to put book sale? Or your manjar, your home? Or Tanzil is shaitan. Do you think Allah sent the shaitan through Jibrail. So they are all translation, you know, they have twisted, they have corrupted everything. Hudan, guidance for the humanity loving people, Hudal in Nas. And this Nadla means also refinement of the society, just like rain or snow. After rain, the flood came and then all the earth clean, refined. Similarly, 
this Quran refine the society. Guidance whereby one can distinguish truth from the falsehood. So Quran will give you the measures to make the distinction between the wrong and the right for Khan. Hence, whoever testimony, who feel, who think yes, of this notorious situation. Now we have into a situation. Among you must abstain from evil and be firm and and steadfastness in your fear. Well, yes, ma. To remove all these evils, corruption. So, well, yes, ma. Abstain. Stop it. This is the meaning of Ramadan. All this heat, the crimes, the worries, the tragedies, grief. Well, yes, ma. It is not a fasting or month of Ramadan. So who's, whoever is in weak position economically, who can participate, it does not mean the sick. No. Now, in Muslim country, all the people, they are breathe. They are weak. So all of our rulers and the religious people, they are okay. Or upon journey of learning, unsettled condition, he is in the journey of learning, education of the Quran. He does not understand, or he is still thinking, journey of learning, okay, whether we should participate in that. It's about the revolution. Among you, then postpone their involvement for this mission, for another period of time. It does not mean after that what the Yusuf Ali has written that when he is okay or when he recovered from the disease or from his journey then he should fast later on. No, this is not this mission or other time. But they have, when they will be okay, bring them. Allah's law want to make things easy for you and do not hardship, so that you may accomplish this mission in prescribed number. It does not mean 30 days. It means the mission which is the evil, corruption, you have to complete it. It is not 30 days. And able to establish the summaries of Allah's law. Allah. Do you think by you know you know keeping fasting you are establishing the summary of Allah's law? No. When you remove all this corruption, all this evil, all this chaos, anxiety, our worries, then it is a Allah's sovereignty will be established. Otherwise, there is a no sovereignty of Allah. Upon which he guided you. Allah mahadakum. Do you need any guidance for the for the fasting? This is Hadaka. Hadakum. This principle. Guideline. How to remove, how to clean the society, how to refine, refine, make take make the refinement of the society economically, socially, justice-wise, capitalism-wise. This is the Qur'an word. Alamahadaka. It is given the Qur'an with the hope that you may bring QPC result. So, by keeping yourself with fast, you are bringing some result? Yes. Our religious people, they are bringing result. They are taking all the money in the form of donation. Now, in other words, why is a salaka abadi anni fenni kriba? Ajibu davatul da is a dan, but a yestejibu le yomenu, le yomenu be lalam yur shadun. 
when my servant asks thee, servant, servant is a symbol of slavery. If you have a servant, he cannot speak in front of you. He has no freedom to express his so views or express his vision. So they have put servant, abadi. So what is the translation of this? Look, after this, when they are doing the job, it is not fasting or you are without water or food. Nothing to do with it. Why they will ask? And when my devotee, what is a devotee? Mean that person who utilizes his, her capability, resources, innate abilities for the benefit of the humanity, bringing the result and then utilize it for the benefit of the world. Not like this corporation, all the discovery they are taking from different people and they become the, you know, dictator of that. And they make you slave. But the Quran says, no. Whatever you use your capability, ability, we have given you. So then when you get the result, abundance, love, abundance, apply over there. So divide it in such a nice way that it should not lead towards the economic slavery. Question you about me, Quranic Foundation Sport. Inform them certainly, I, my laws, very close to them. Quranic Foundation say, okay, we are with you. When you have any problem, we are with you. And the Quranic Foundation, the Quran used the word Walidin, mom and dad, for the government. And our government should be like a mom and dad. The, the Quran has used the Walidin. But if you do not select the right wall, then the right leader, it is your fault. That is why we are suffering. Select or elect the good leader. They are your mom and dad. A response. They are planning or strategy. Dawa. Dawa does not mean pray. Go in Makkah and in Ravi in Yom and Juma pray. Everywhere they are praying. They don't have any job to do. Dawad means strategy, planning. I have already explained it. This nation is dead because everywhere they are doing. Supplication. Dua. Pray. 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 They are dead. When you when he flood energy is a dawn strategy. When you make strategy, when you make planning, we are give you. Look, you heat the water. On hundred you will get the response. If you make the right economy system or justice system, we don't need this corporation. We don't need charity organization. He will give you answer. Then we get it from all these advocate or, you know, lawyer. They are not, we don't need them. But our system is wrong. Let them respond me. Federation, follow just the Jibu. You work, Allah will give you response. There is no need for any dua. You think, start it, make planning. And let them active for peace. And can look well a human will be the the you know the pivotal point near the Quran is peace and prosperity. And they are saying worship him a God. Where we should go? I could not find a single verse in the Quran where it is written you worship God. They made the wrong, wrong translation. La human safety, tranquility. Peace, prosperity, with this hope that they might follow the right course. Lallam Yarshidun, Rashid, Arshad. We have given you guidance so that you reform the society, rectify the society, economically, justice wise, social wise. 
So this is the meaning of this. If you think it was a fasting, why Quran brought this verse over here? There is no, no need for asking. You open your fast, finish. You keep your fast, finish. There is no project. Then, another verse. It's a very important. Ahulla lakum layatu sayyam al rafasa ila nisaikum. Hunna lebaas lakum vantum lebaas hunna. Alam Allah in kum kuntum tasnoon an fusikum fataba alaykum wa fa an kum wa ala bashar hunna abtu wa ma katab Allah lakum wa kalu bashar bu hatta yatbijna lakum al khayt al abid wa min خيط الأسود من الفجر ثم استمون السيامة إلى الليل ولا تباشرهن وأنتم عاكفون في مساجد تلك حدود الله ولا, تك ولا تكربوها كذلك يبين الله آيات للناس إلا لم يتكون how much injustice they did with this verse by doing the wrong translation that is the reason what is we are now present Muslim it is because of this Quran translation from the centuries now what we are now praying worshipping this is all we are technically or educationally dead because this is it is their education of our priesthood let me okay Yusuf Ali permitted to you on the night of the fast night of the fast what is the approach to your wives look this is the translation the Quran is coming something else and they diverted the whole thing to wives and then and seek that Allah okay they are your garments and you are their garments okay and now let me come over and seek that Allah has ordained for you and eat and drink wife eat and drink until the white thread of dawn appear to you distinct from the black thread their God was ignorant, who was not aware, this Muslim God, or this priesthood God, not the Quranic God. In North Pole, there is a no, six months there is a night, six months there is a day. Even they don't think, they insulted the Quran. White thread, black thread. The Allah was not aware that in North Pole country, Scandinavia, in Sweden, there is a six month night, six month day. So this is a, it's, you know, I cannot, you know, take this. Why? Because being a student of the Quran, I get upset. They insulted the Quran. They insulted every verse of the Quran. So let me give you, and then complete your fast till the night appears, but do not associate with your wives while you are in the retreat in the mosque. Look, now mosque, do you think they were doing illegal sexual in the, ma in the mosque, intercourse with the mosque, or their wife, they were busy in the wife, uh, their wife in the mosque, Shame on us. You can read this yourself. You have all the translations are seen. Now let me come to that. What is the Lalitul Siam where they are saying that night? It is not a night. It's a lalate. It's anxious anxieties worries, sorrowness, grief, what we have now. This is the meaning of Lalat. 
It's not a land. Worries. Rage. Sorrowness. Depression. The prevailing darkness or anxieties. There's a possible word I could verify. you. Have caused to make law for you. These anxieties, corruption, darkness, ignorant force us to make the law. Ahallalakum, halal, it's the same word. For feeble, for feeblest class or weak segment of the society, Nisayakum, it's not a wife. Nisayakum, kum, male and female both. Children, old people, they make woman finish. Go and check the grammar. Get out some, you know, give, take some time. Don't involve in the donation or khairat or zakat. Come out, go, make your mosque, research center. This nation will go in eminent position. Nasaiko, not woman or wife, male and female, weak segment of the society. 75% population is in a cycle. We need this constitution Quran now. Democracy has failed. Socialism has failed. We need it. With whom you have immodest approach and treating them like a hay and smash them into the pieces. Rafasa. They are saying Rafasa, their translation, go with the wife in sex. This is with whom you are smashed them into pieces. Same thing now all the celebrities or rulers, they are they're, they're doing injustice. They don't consider them human beings. They are just like a hay or a dust. Rafasa. They, the male and female hunna, al siyam, and it is a hunna, plural, party, group, community, male and female both, they made the wife. Crucial for you, libasun, your respect, your honesty, your honor. Every human being is equally respectable in the sight of Allah. Libas, your dress. Look, what a beautiful narration in your society and as you are crucial for them. Both are. It is not a wife. In the society, the people, the weak segment of the society, you are their dress, they are your dress. Allah's law aware that you use to seizing their rights. In Kuntum Takhtanun, this is a Takhtanun is a Khan. In the base is Khan. Quran Khani, it's the same word. You are doing. When you do the Quran reciting, you are doing the, you know, khyana, dishonesty. Why? You don't understand it. Millions of Quran will be recited in our Ramadan without understanding a single word. What a pathetic nation we are. You are seizing there. In kuntum takhtanum and fosikum. Quran saying, you are you are you have corrupt their rights, human rights, economic rights, social right, freedom right, writing right. So he, Allah, our federation had come back.
they make this come back made this con laws towards you and he has given you relief why relief the law has come so correct yourself so bring them into life program from lifeless condition bashara hunna they are saying they are doing sex in the mosque ashara live if you see the tv the live program is a bashara and they are saying it is written in the translation they were doing the sex in the mosque and then quran stopped them what is him falana bashara hunna from death situation from their you know their anxiety that is a death their depression their poverty bring them in the life program falana bashara hunna and seek their involvement in the society bring them make them the part of the society make them the member of the society as prescribed by allah's law waqta wa ma kadab allah lakum what allah want according to his rule or federation why federation because the federation is also following the nature law our our supreme authority eat now have the dominion it's a metaphorical eat uh, sorry little eat a metaphor kalu dominion and drink understand washrabu these principle understand this principle digest them eat them until thread of the whiteness or whiteness of dawn in your mind al khayt al abyad it is not that thread which they are saying in the morning in the night it is your mind clearance when your mind is confused it is not a bit a bit is also known egg you know egg is intense white and there is no spot on that look what quran a bit a bit in arabic language egg al khayt your mind thinking so digest them implement them make that them make the understanding of them so that your mind should become clear like a egg or like dawn in the morning become clear yatabayyan your mind become clear. from the thread of darkness or darkness of ignorance al khayt al aswad if your mind is not clear it is a confusion the quran says it's a darkness it's a ignorance it's a confusion so digest this rule and regulation give the people education of the quranic rule and regulation so that all in your mind the thread of darkness ignorance it should be removed by the intense whiteness just like the egg just like the dawn of the morning day day time in the light of the quranic education minal fajr here quran is fajr why fajr when the day break you have a, you know dawn similarly quran unlock the close lock of your mind it click your mind give you light shining fajr quran then abolish completely completely this darkness atam completely absolutely to complete it tumma with the determination al sayam determination stop abstain it prevent it with determination this is a sound not fasting till to the end of the ignorance darkness el layl till to the end of ignorance anxiety darkness worries in the society 
So Quran is saying continue, continue till to the all the darkness, worries, anxieties in the society should finish. Quran wants a prosperous society. And do not involve them, we cross into live activities because still they can join you this active program, live program. First of all, give them training, then you join them. When you are rectifying your complicated affairs, akifun, the same word it took off from here. Here Quran is saying, rectifying your complicated affairs and they are sitting in the mass in the isolation, ittakaf. One lecture I will give you on ittakaf also. Akifun. Akaf, when you put the diamond into a string, in a nice way, that is akaf. When the nation become unity, just like a string of diamond. They're very good example. It's a wonderful book, you know, but problem is this, the Arabs, they don't want to implement this book, they want the Hadith. It is their mother language. In your mind activity, fill massage it. It's not a massage between the concrete and the, you know, this, uh, iron building, you know, not. It's from Sajda. Sajda belong to your mind. When you agree anything, then you Sajda. Or when you salute, when you appreciate. Those Sajda mean, Masajad mean, when your activity is ready, your mind satisfies. Okay, I'm satisfied, not a Masjid. This Masjid, they, they copy from synagogue, from church, from Mandar, the so Quran does not talk these mosques, massages, it's your mind, activity, where you make the decision, where you agree. Such are the limits of laws in accordance with Allah, Hadood Allah, boundaries, this is Canadian boundary, this is American boundary, limits. Do you think in fasting you find any limits? No need any limit, you fast. Hadood Allah, limits, boundaries, regulation. Do not come close to the transgression then. Don't go against the Quran. You no, know, look. Two billion Muslims there against the Quran. I had chance to go some community meeting that people don't want to talk with me. They scared that if I talk the Quran, they will run like a donkey. They don't want to damage their iman. They don't want to hurt their praying. They don't want to hurt their so I, I, I was sitting in these meetings in isolation because I have to go with my family. But I don't say anything because it is useless to say anything. Summan, Bukman, Umyan, they are deaf, dumb, blind, I cannot do anything. Do not come close to transgression, transgressing them. So Allah makes clear his evidence. This is the way Allah has given you. And what they have done? Etikaf, Taravi, fasting, opening. This is the Quran is saying to the people with this, with this hope that they will become the preserver of the society. I don't have any hope, frankly speaking. And what the translation I'm doing, it is for the coming generation. Maybe it will take time, you know. Maybe 50 years, 100 years. But I will do that job. Half the translation, more than half I have done. 
and before my, you know, I will face the death or pass away, I want to complete it. I want to give in the form of book. And now Quran, look the gist of the وَلَا تَاكَلُوا أَمْوَالَكُمْ بَيْنَكُمْ بِالْبَاطِلِ وَتَدْلُوا بِهَا إِلَىٰ أَحْقَامُ لِتَاكَلُوا فَرِيقٌ مِنْ أَمَامِ النَّاسِ بِالْإِسْمِ وَانْتُمْ تَعَالُوا This is the gist, a sense of all discussion. What Quran is saying, and do not devour the position of each other. Look, all these religious people, they are doing this. All these non profit organizations are doing is this is the meaning of a Ramadan song by false pretense. Bil Batle. Batal means no result is coming. This is Batal. Look, our mosque in Canada or in Pakistan or in any country, no result at all. 70,000 madrissa in Pakistan. They are all illiterate. No result. Nothing. It is a bribe in it to the authorities. Or you give some bribe to the authority to make the decision in your favor so that you may swallow up the takalu, a part of the people possession. I'm all in us. This is happening now everywhere. They are saying Quran does not tell us anything. Look, Quran is giving values. In a criminal way or slow down the pace of progress of the society, bless as a mean slow down the pace of the economy, collecting the parasite, collecting the money, amassing the money, have and have not is a bellism. And you understand it is unlawful. Quran does not use force to give you education. So this is unlawful. So this is the, I have taken a little bit more time, but I want to finish it, you know. So the next lecture will be the, what was the fasting of Maryam? They did injustice over there. They insulted Maryam. She was a great educated leader, very sharp, very intelligent. So you will enjoy with that in next lecture. So please just don't believe me, I have received messages. What I want, I have given this translation. Yes, go do some research work. And also, I want that you, my translation should be checked by you, rectified by you. We should talk about this. I'm giving you, I'm saying that these translations are against the those translation which we you have classical and contemporary and the, the Quranic verses blast of all these translation which is given by Yusuf Ali I, every day I, in every lecture I am giving that and now in the lecture of Maryam you will see what happened over there how much injustice they did with the Maryam and Isa Thank you very much.